Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm Pastor Kathy, if you have not met me, um, and if you haven't, we need to meet. Um, today, for Sila, I am going to be talking <clears throat> about generosity. Um, generosity is one of my favorite things and favorite topics um, next to prayer and worship. Um, I love, love giving to people and blessing people. Um, it just brings me great joy. Um, and, you know, as I um, get going here, I just want to ask you a question. Is there anybody out there who doesn't like receiving a gift? Um, I do. Um, but I've learned also as um, I've lived a little bit of life that um, I'm not so much as like a gift lover, but um, the way to my heart is acts of service. Um, so I know as we talk about generosity and giving, there's so many different ways um, that we can actually give um, and also receive. But I wanna start off with reading a scripture to you. It's in 1 Timothy and it is chapter six, verse 18. And it says, let them do good that they be rich in good works ready to give, willing to share, storing up for themselves a good foundation for the time to come, that they may lay hold of eternal life. Um, in my Bible, it says wealthy people should be good stewards. What they share with others is an investment bringing eternal dividends. Um, I wanna tell you a little story um, that I think will kind of tie this in together and um, allow you just to see what it is I'm talking about. So um, I grew up in the Nazarene Church and um, in San Luis Obispo and I was probably about um, 11 and um, on a Sunday morning there was a gentleman who came into our church and um, he was a very large man and um, his clothes were very tattered. Um, he was very dirty. And honestly, I, di I hadn't really heard, I didn't even know about homeless people um, at that age. And so um, I knew that there was something about this man, but I wasn't sure um, what exactly it was. And um, I just felt compelled that I needed to give to him. And so I had been saving my money from doing chores um, around our home and the little farm that we had, um, which seemed really big at the time. Um, and I remember telling my dad, I said, Dad, I feel like, like Jesus wants me to give something to that man and that he needs some clothes. And so um, my dad, being one of the most generous people I have ever known into the state, still is, um, put some money together with my money and we gave it to our pastor. And I told him, um, and I really, like, I want to help this man, and I feel like he needs some new clothes. And so um, my pastor at the time made sure that um, that money went to that man and that he was able to get some new clothing. Well, um, several years later, um, I found out that this man actually um, became an evangelist that started one of the largest movements um, that is still in effect today. Um, and so I love this story um, because it doesn't matter what age you are or what it is that you have to give. God will always take that um, investment that we make and he will use it for eternal purposes. Um, so, you know, just as we think about being generous um, and we think about this time of year celebrating the birth of um, Christ and the incredible gift um, that we've been given, I can't even imagine me ever giving up my child to come to earth um, to save me. And I just was thinking about that conversation, like the looks on, on God's face and Jesus's face when God said, I'm gonna send you to the earth. I'm giving the most extravagant, outrageous, incredible gift that I could ever give um, to save people and to bring life to them. Um, and that's gonna be the role that you're going to fulfill. Um, and then I look at my own life and the ways that um, times I've had nothing um, and times that I've had plenty and just being able to know that with everything I have and in every season that there will always and there is always something that I can give um, and just be generous into people's lives, whether it is um, something as simple as cooking a meal or um, going and buying a Christmas tree for somebody 
who has maybe lost a spouse and they won't have a tree, um, buying gifts for a family that maybe they don't have the funds to be able to do that. It might be, and simply just getting a bouquet of flowers and taking them to somebody that you just want them to know how much you appreciate them. And it might also be in just giving financially. So um, my encouragement um, as we go through the rest of this month, um, listen to Jesus. Have him show you somebody that you can go above and beyond and that you can give extravagantly, that we can give hilariously um, to somebody just to bring some joy and let them know that not only everything we have has been given to us, um, it wasn't for us to, ki to keep, but it's for us to be able to share. So anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day.